published 1945 Eastern Standard Time, the 15th of January 2018, updated 1952 Eastern Standard Time, the 15th of January 2018. He worked with Shane McGowan for the soundtrack of The Lone Ranger in 2013 regarding the musician. As one of the most important poets of the 20th century, and Johnny Depp proved to be a supportive friend as he attended the Pogues frontman's 60th birthday bash on Monday. Held at Dublin's The National Concert Hall, the event saw appearances from the world's legendary musicians, including U2's Bono, singer-songwriter Sinead O'Connor and Australian artist Nick Cave. Scroll down for video Loki, Johnny Depp, 54, proved to be a supportive friend as he attended Shane McGowan's 60th birthday bash in Monday, held at the National Concert. Hal 21 Jump Street star was pictured in a suave dark ensemble, which he finished with his signature brown trilby hat and silver-framed aviator glasses. Held onto a beverage glass the lead singer of Celtic punk band The Pokes, Shane McGowan appeared. Suave as he arrived to his event in a dapper midnight blue suit. Also in attendance was Sinead O'Connor, who was looking happy and healthy in camouflage attire. Featuring a matching parka coat, ribbed hat and fitted bottoms with green and brown colorways. On his way, held onto a beverage glass the lead singer of Celtic punk band The Pogues, Shane McGowan appeared suave as he arrived to his event in a dapper midnight blue suit laid back the 21 Jump Street star was pictured in a suave dark ensemble, which he finished with his signature brown. Trilby hat and silver framed aviator glasses not letting anything stop him. Bound to a wheelchair, the star broke his pelvis in 2015 after falling while trying to leave a Dublin recording studio and has been struggling with mobility ever since he continued, I'm getting better, but it's taking a very long time. It's the longest I've ever taken to recover from an injury. And I've had a lot of injuries bold. Also, in attendance was Sinead O'Connor, who was looking happy and Healthy speaking to BBC Six Music on his musical relationship with the singer in 2013, Johnny detailed, Shane McGowan is unpredictable. He's definitely not boring. He's a magnificent man and species. He's a special being, he gushed, to me, he is one of the most important poets of the 20th century. The pair worked on the soundtrack for the western film The Lone Ranger, where Shane was highly praised for his rendition of Irish folk song, Poor Paddy Works on the Railway, iconic, held at Dublin's The National Concert Hall. The event saw appearances from the world's legendary musicians, including U2's Bono and Australian artist. Nick Cave Ireland's finest, Shay Healy held onto his support stick celebrated Shane's birthday with his daughter last year proved to be a turbulent year for the Kent native as he tragically lost his beloved mother to raise on New Year's Day in a fatal car crash. Bound to a wheelchair, the star broke his pelvis in 2015 after falling while trying to leave a Dublin recording studio and has been struggling with mobility ever since. In an interview with Vice, the musician told of how difficult his recovery has been since. The accident in summer, I broke my pelvis which is the worst thing you can do. I'm lame in one leg, I can't walk around the room without a crutch. He said, I'm getting better, but it's taking a very long time. It's the longest I've ever taken to recover from an injury. And I've had a lot of injuries. Support, president of Shin political party was a surprising attendee at the event stylish Irish DJ VP Fallon. Was all smiles at the star-studded bash windswept. Amelda May showcased her tousled locks as she beamed with joy at the event.